<clears throat> Dear Diary, it is the 21st of March 2018. It is evening time. <laughs> and this is what I know about the event so far. First of all, I'd like to say I've been saying the good times are coming for a long time now. Um, just based on the fact that I knew that it would, I just didn't know how long things would take. So, let me just quickly say what I'd say the event is. It's when the tidal movement back towards God and truth and love is at a point where it's obvious it cannot fail to happen it is done right so it's happening to individuals so some individuals would have had feelings and this is what it's all about really it's what you feel it's what you are would have had feelings you know going back maybe many are having them now and it's I think it's helping the fact that people are, more people are talking about it more people are being positive and more people will continue to have them you know, especially as it becomes a big movement, everyone's going to want to be on the on the right. Now, I think I don't want to lose track here. So, you know, for for people who don't want it, they're going to find their lives frustrated more and more. And the people who want it are going to find their ways opening up, becoming easier, more and more. See, it's all about the feeling. It's like, you know, what do you look for to become satisfied? Well, if you can just have a feeling and that satisfy you, you haven't had to give anyone any money, you haven't had to use any sort of tools apart from what you've got is yourself so for me you know last few days um, has the event been happening yeah I was I think it was Monday night I was sitting here and suddenly a feeling I'd never felt before was coming from from like mother and it was it was a shape. So first we're going about colours, now we're going about shapes, ooh, back into baby time. But when, you fe when you're feeling stuff, like the first time you feel something, you know, internal within your soul, you know, it's, it's, it's a new thing, right? So, but the more you do, the, the more things happen. But, you know, I hadn't had, like, a shape come at me. And it was weird because I had this flash of a vision of a 3D shape sort of down there, like a sort of a gift in a way. And I think what's different about this event is it seems to be usually the feelings I get are based on how long I've been sitting there and what I'm thinking about and what my intentions are. But it does seem to be around this time that, and it has happened before, but a bit around this time that things are happening like, just, you know, it's not from me making it or anything, it's just coming. Oh, you know, as stuff with God is. Sorry, it's getting a bit mumbly. So, there was that, it was new. And it was a nice feeling, it was easy to feel, and then you get this sort of wash feeling. So there's, so there's so much that's been going on um, and I kind of wanted to make a video and 
I just thought, no, I probably shouldn't because my advice is to, you know, stop watching videos, sit and meditate. But I've been doing so much meditation that, yeah, there's a lot to get off and I hope I don't forget my key points. So I'll go straight into my key point, which what I know about this event. And keeps coming back. Maybe I should sit with it a bit longer. Maybe I should throw it back and see if it pops back all on its own. But I think it's going to. And um, this is about the six other Earth-like places within this universe. So, you know, this is something that's said by A.J. Miller, but for me, the it made the numbers add up as to how many souls God created, how many children of God there are in this universe. And a hundred billion sits right with the number of galaxies. So we're 28 billion soul pairs on this earth, dead or alive or reincarnating or whatever. So 20, 28 <laughs> males and females together, so that's 14.4 billion pairs. So I've done videos on this before, like, I don't want to go into it too much. Anyway, so, but I've, I've felt them. And so this is something I, I know, or at least I think I know. I feel, I've been feeling it. It comes up now every now and then, you know. The first time I felt it was a bit, it was freaky. But anyway, so this is what I know about this event. It's affecting all of us. We're all in it. We're all actually jointly working towards it. So each Earth, say, so there's seven of them, represents a certain aspect of God, say. But this links into the seven colours of love, seven spirits of God. So, you know, love, the word love is, you know, I mean, love is everything. Love is the answer, love sustains all, right? So but it's just one word. We need to, we need to break it down a bit. So, you know, you've got the rainbow colours, white lights splits into the spectrum, this spectrum. This is something real. And if you get into soul feeling and feeling your heart and when colours get involved, it's very, very strong and you'll, you'll not forget it. So, the seven spirits, the seven colours, and so there's red to start with, and that is faith. Then orange is patience, yellow, wisdom, green, mercy, light blue, justice, dark blue, peace, purple is goodness. So each of these earths has a sort of, you know, there's been something about their history which reflects one of these. And it seems that our Earth, I mean, have a guess, what do you think? My feeling, what I'm getting, is it's justice. So our history and everything is sort of, justice is the big thing. And um, this is a light blue line, like a rod. And the thing about numbers five and six, light blue and dark blue, is that they are slightly connected. And the piece, number six, is a dark blue circle. And the rod of justice is in the middle, and the dark blue circle around the outside. And that spins. <laughs> To take you into that, I would have to go back a year when I was getting these 
things of what they are and the, and the, and the symbols like peace is on the back of your head here, faith is up here, wisdom in the belly, mercy in the center, I'd say justice like a rod like down the back, peace the circle and goodness is like a bubble. So I, I've mentioned it in videos before but so we're all all these seven earths standing ready ready for what the event is which is again this is slightly I'm going to say it differently it is different it is <clears throat> the awakening of God's children to what they are this is what it is and this is what happens people wake up and realize we're more than just physical body with this short lifespan and and handling that is you know a journey and a challenge and everything else so what's so I'm going to move on <coughs> I'm going to move on to some more practical. Um, if you sit down still and don't move, and this is what I do in meditation, that's what I do. I sit still, I don't move. If I get an itch, I feel it, I allow it, right? So, you know, the stage I'm at now is um, to do with, you know, I've had a lot of dealings with pain. And the pain was always sort of low down, my feet and my legs, whatever. And I've been, you know, over the last few years, I've been finding ways that that pain sort of went up. Because you can only f really feel one thing at a time. And that's another thing I'd like to come on to. There's been so much. Um, so, and then suddenly, like, the f nice feeling in my heart or whatever, and it's or a strong feeling, or it, you know, it does different things, and it sort of, it seems to like wash up. Now, so that's why I stuck with it, because I knew there was something going on here. If I, you know, without the pain, the pain is like the food. So you sit still long enough, and you're gonna have a feeling. If you deal with that feeling, you're gonna get another feeling. And each one, each step is a puzzle. So when you're, when you're resisting the feeling, you end up with pain. So I was sitting there meditating, maybe I've done some feeling, and then my thoughts are wandering off somewhere, and I start getting pain. It's because I've gone out of the feeling. So say, right, so I go back into the feeling, I feel it, right, what happens then? I get more. And this time, it's more intense. And, and over the time, I've found new ways. It was a, because it was a new feeling in the soul, you know, maybe I was trying the old one, oh, it should be like this, you know, I, I'm expecting this, but in a sense, you just really have to, you know, the, the two words going on in my head mainly is let go and be gentle when dealing with the heart and go deep. So going deeper... The more, the more intense the pain or whatever, the more deep and intense the feeling is going to be in the heart. Now, I was doing this for a good while before I even cracked open the heart. You know, the first thing really is getting rid of the facades, finding the real you. Then you crack open the heart, and that's a major thing, cracking open the heart. And it's just been, after that, it's just been opening the heart more and more. The, the heart, you know, and now I'm thinking of the heart, it's like, it's like the biggest part of the soul. So I'm sort of going off. Um, so what was happening as I was getting this next more intense pain and then, and then, or if I sit and start and meditate and I get a bit of pain, okay, that's the first level. That was first level. Now it come more intense. Okay, now we're in the second level. 
and the second letter I remember it's like it was going like a tore all into my heart into the center of my heart like that and then the third that seemed like the same but thicker and stronger and then so last night something like a new level a new intensity and it was like something opened up in the middle of my heart and it was like yeah because everything is scary the first time but I was thinking you know you're thinking this is the way God's been showing me to go. It's not going to kill me. And once you've done it loads of times, you each time you, you're less scared anyway. So, yeah, and then it was a new intense type of feeling. And, you know, it's just going to keep going on. You know, we're not going to stop growing. It's, it's always going to be growing. So enjoy the journey as well and... You know, I have been sort of doing it full on these last few days, just, you know, with this event thing. And, yeah, I can really see, though, that um, there's no turning back now. It is God's will be done, and it is done. That's the way it is. And so, yeah, just carry on with the... Uh, with it and um, and it's all good oh yeah this is really important like because you know the event I say I want it to happen I want it I want something to happen I sit down and I want something to happen it won't happen when you do that if you try and force it it's not going to happen so the I've said this before you got to remember these four sort of weak tendencies of the of the soul there's hopelessness. That is a, an error. So you say, right, am I feeling any hopelessness? Yeah, I am. You know, I know that nothing is hopeless. Am I feeling dependent on anything that isn't God right now? Yeah, kind of thinking of facts, okay. Feel like, Anticipation. You know, if you if you think if you're trying to expect what's going to happen, you know, you're you're guessing what's going to happen. That won't help. It won't work. It's a sort of excitedness. You want calm. And then there's the desperation, trying to force it. I got to make this happen. You can't make it happen. So you get rid of those and you swap them for faith, honesty, enthusiasm and joy and you have that and just enjoy the journey we are eternal beings we are we are entities, we are beings I'm not you and you're not me I don't wake up in the morning with your problems you don't wake up with mine I don't have your enjoyments you have your enjoyments and I have my enjoyments. But we are all connected. So we are all children of God. We are all in God. And that is forever. We'll be forever in God. Just as God is in God's God. <laughs> and so our cousins, like God's brothers and sisters' children, we're not in their universe, so to connect with them, we would have to go out through into God's bit <laughs> and then round and then down, you know. But we are connected in this universe, all the souls. So you can think about our brothers and sisters on other planets. They might have different color skies. That may be well, why we got a light blue sky, it's mostly light blue. It's get a bit dark, kish blue, but you know it's possible. There, I know this. There will be some differences with each of them. You know, so why, why would, God wouldn't just do it the same with each? So, like we have this story of Cain and Abel, and Cain killed Abel, and you know, justice is our thing. It's like there's something about justice which this earth story tells. And the other planets, they'll have, you know, peace, uh, 
Giza's piece, who we're sort of connected to, um, they'll have their story. And the, part of the reason I've connected with them is because I am the Christ, I am the Son of Man, God is my Father, and so is there one on each of the other earths. So a while back I sort of felt the connection and it was only today that I saw the peace guy <laughs> and, and uh, he was pretty fat, yeah. dark, quite dark skin, dark hair, and uh, you know, and look at me, you know, I I like you know, skinny bloke, balding, beard, like God is funny. God has chosen <laughs> people who, from the looks of. You're never going to expect it. Anyway. So I, I haven't... It's only the peace guy I've connected with because number five and six are connected. But I don't know if I've had connections with the, the other ones. I haven't sort of... Because I've got... There's a lot of new information, so... And I don't write down. I don't worry about it because when you go into the deep feelings, you remember everything from before when you were at those similar levels on those subjects or whatever you you remember what was there before so I can't always access this so yeah this is something I've been thinking about as well um, you know God's attention um, you know you listen to AJ Miller like he claims that when he was in the spirit world he created like a hundred bodies who were going around being him doing stuff and I just think that's nonsense. I always thought it was nonsense. Anyway, so, you know, the question came up during meditation and um, I was near to God and so I was just wondering about God's attention. And um, still, I'm all still asking questions about how mother and father God are connected at the moment and I'm getting, you know, they are different entities. You know, they, father will be doing one thing and mother will be doing something else, but they are connected, suspending a universe, they're permanently sort of in a passionate kiss, that sort of thing. Anyway, so let's just look at Father God for a moment. You know, Father God's attention, how is it, you know, is Father God able to do hundreds and thousands of things at once? So... What I what I what I could look, almost see is like Father God over there with like a big whale with a big sucker fish, you know. So I'm imagining something which is describing it to me, and so this is God's attention, the sucker fish. So I was like, God, you know, can you give me some of your attention? And like, you know, and the, the sort of sucker fish sort of opened up like part of its mouth. Yes, so it's way busy whatever it's doing, and. Only part of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Right. Uh, uh, okay, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> That's why I said to God at that point. Anyway, it was just sort of just trying to see. So I think I can imagine that because you can have your main attention on stuff, but you can have some sort of outer awareness like, do we need to check on this or whatever? Now, don't get me wrong, of course, God, mother and father, is loving all her children all the time but that's like a generic like, you know I love all my children and quick as a flash could be with individuals like this but yeah so I get you know I don't get this sense that soon you know we'll be like multitasking doing you know have our attention on a hundred different things at once I'm you know different things you know completely different things I just don't see that changing too much. I think we could be very quick with things, we could go from this to that and we could sort stuff out and we could be that or we could just be... But you only can really feel one thing at a time. This way it comes to like the resistance to pain. You're sitting there still, you're feeling lots of pain. But then when you're feeling your heart, 
you can't, you don't feel the pain as well. Well, sometimes you're feeling a bit of both. That does happen, but that's just because you're not fully in the heart. And we like, like we men like to be fully into things. And this is why I sense this is a bit different from Mother God. And I think often why Mother God is usually easier to feel like quickly. And I think women have got this multitasking thing going on. And I'm starting to see, I'm starting to wonder if that's why women make much better mediums. Because in a sense, they have to multitask their talking at the same time as connecting to spirit. Now, a spirit. Now, if I was connected to a spirit and I was supposed to talk at the same time, I'd be like... Oh, oh, so, because the best mediums I've seen so far are women. I mean, I've seen a few men do a good job, but anyway. So... Really, there is a ton of stuff going on, and you know, there's a vibe. It's just, it's just so cool. It's so cool, like, and the stuff happening in these. You know, they are, they are, they are like just crumbling. You know, Rome, that old club of Rome, Rome <laughs> reigns is, is crumbling. The people power, is the coming. You know, the more people who wake up and realise, shit, man, I'm a fucking universe. Nothing can kill me. There's nothing to fear. People power. That's it. Okay, that's it for now. There's probably loads of things I forgot, but that'll do. Ciao.